This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Stick around for a word from today's sponsor, Sheath Underwear. They're under. I'm wearing them. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> Stick around for a great offer from Sheath Underwear. Hey, listen, let's talk about the freak out that's currently happening at Fox News over the hiring defending the hiring of Ronna Romney McDaniel, the former chair of the RNC at NBC. Over the weekend, there was a series of different um, spoken uh, opinion pieces uh, of pushback from Chuck Todd to, to, to Morning Joe. Like the, Everybody on the MSNBC lineup is very unhappy, justifiably so, at the hiring of someone who had an active role, who was an active participant in attempting to end democracy in America, now hired for nearly half a million dollars a year by, by, by NBC. It's a problem. And, and some would say that, oh, Fox News, they just don't get it. They just don't get it that this is, you can't compare Ronna Romney McDaniel, some other liberal who works for Fox News. Uh, they just don't understand. They do understand. I would push back on that assertion. Fox News gets it fully, but their job is to normalize. The, the, the Overton window has shifted to the right. And so people just think, the normal Republican Party that we have today is that's just the way it is. That's just conservatism. That's, the, that's just middle of the road right. And it's not. It is fascism. It's not fascism light. It's not adjacent to fascism. It's fascism. They're attempting to end democracy in America. And when someone who took a role in that gets hired by a reputable news network like NBC, the right wants to normalize that. Like, yeah, this is, this is just great. This is fantastic. So I have three clips here. They're all very brief. One is Bill Hemmer and Dana Perino and Kayla McEnany, who plays a role in multiple of these clips. And they are lamenting the pushback of the hiring of Ron and Romney McDaniel, and especially lamenting that the people at NBC employees have such freedom to speak their minds, to speak for the truth, that they're even willing to speak out against management. And this perplexes Bill Hemmer and Dana Perino. Well, what? People would be walked out. They'd be fired. <laughs> Watch this first one and we'll go on to the next. Ronna McDaniel, former head of the RNC, apparently was hired by NBC. I don't, I don't know if she's going to keep her job or not, uh, but apparently their heads were blowing off yesterday. Uh, this is a little bit of what happened on, what, Meet the Press and then Morning Joe a bit earlier today. I have no idea whether any answer she gave to you was because she didn't want to mess up her contract. She has credibility issues that she still has to deal with. Yeah. Is she speaking for herself or is she speaking on behalf of who's paying her? We weren't asked our opinion of the hiring, but if we were, we would have strongly objected to it for several re reasons. We hope NBC will reconsider its decision. It goes without saying that she will not be a guest on Morning Joe in her capacity as a paid contributor. Oh, um, turn this around. <laughs> like, if, if somebody said this at Fox News, yeah. they'd be walked out the door. Yeah. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Look, this is enormous insubordination. Enormous. You would expect something like this from Joe Scarborough. He's a, a far left opinion commentator. But I was really disappointed to hear Chuck Todd, someone who is a journalist, comment on this in that fashion. And here is what I would ask him as a journalist. Look, you're a journalist, Chuck Todd. Who at your network at NBC or MSNBC represents the 46.7% of the country that tells real clear politics average when you look at all the polls, we support Trump. I couldn't find, and I looked today, a single person on their roster that represents that really half of the country. Ronna McDaniel, I saw her hiring, and I was like, good for them. She does represent that mm -hmm. wing of the party. But if you can't accept her, who would you accept? Who would you accept? I also, I, I was thinking the same thing, Bill. Like, if you mm -hmm. have a problem with your employer, like, what, you do that publicly? Mm -hmm. I, that, I, would, I, 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 would, I would never do that. Yeah. If you have a problem, like, the, the, but mm -hmm. they are so willing to, to stick with their ideology and to be so rigid in it that they are willing to do that to their employer. Quite remarkable. Unbelievable. Enormous insubordination. Remarkable. They're so freaked out by this. You see, the people at NBC are speaking for the truth. 
They're standing for the truth. It, it's so perplexing to Fox News people because they don't speak for the truth. They speak for propaganda and whatever the agenda of the right is in that moment. Whatever culture war that they can inflame. It's anathema to them, many of them, that someone would risk their job or relationship with management or ownership uh, over something as precious and important as American democracy. This next clip is Jesse Waters, and you can imagine if anything comes out of the mouth of the stupid haircut, uh, Jesse Waters is going to be a nightmare. And here he's talking about how the, the inmates are running the asylum, and uh, he has the temerity and the ignorance and the idiocy, just a f absolute moron, to say that NBC is a political operation. You would think he was talking about his own network, Fox News, being the propaganda outlet that they are. But no, he's talking about NBC is the political operation, <laughs> not Fox News. Watch this. Does not care about what other people say. No one's allowed to represent the voice on NBC. That's the whole point. NBC has gone for, what, five years on this countless hours telling everybody MAGA Republicans are extremists. Mm -hmm. They're insurrectionists. They have to be deplatformed. They have to be censored. And you have to investigate them and prosecute them and not allow them to have a voice. So all of a sudden, NBC Brass hires one of them. <laughs> and it blows up the entire narrative that Morning Joe and these guys have been selling forever. So the Brass doesn't even either maybe watch Morning Joe <laughs> or they don't believe what Morning Joe is selling. Because they're like, yeah, Rona's available. All right, it's an election year. Let's do it. She gives us access, a little balance, sign the check. And now we're hearing what? That the inmates are running the asylum and they might actually cancel her contract and not put her on? Okay. That just tells me NBC is not a business. That's it is right. a political operation. Yeah. Jessica, you're a First Amendment proponent. Do you think that uh, NBC made the right decision hiring Ronna McDaniel? Should we call it now? Should it be called now? Irony is officially dead. <laughs> Jesse Waters. Listen, he's so smug, this jerk off, this soft skin, smooth brain moron. He's so smug with his unearned arrogance that it's almost like he's joking some of the time. That, that's the, the demeanor he carries with him. Uh, it's it's a, a, a sight to behold. This next one is another former reality star, Sean Duffy. I think he was on MTV's Real World or one of those reality shows they did in the 90s, the 80s, and the 90s, Sean Duffy. His wife, too. I think that's where they met. They're both Fox News idiots. Uh, this is he and Kaylee McEnany. And here he's talk, He's comparing, and this is where I'm talking about that they know. He's comparing the hiring of Ron Romney McDaniel, someone who attempted to end democracy in America, to Fox News having Jessica Tarloff on as an employee. The thing, the two things, just they're not comparable. Other than the fact that they're two people who work for a network, that's where the similarities end. Watch Sean Duffy and Kaylee McEnany. It is asking questions okay. of both sides and, and trying to get the answers out. But again, I just I, I worked at CNN. And uh, Ron McDaniel is going to earn every cent they're going to pay her because they are not going to be nice to her. They do not treat uh, people like Fox tweets Jessica Tarloff or Harold Ford Jr. Not at all. Um, and so, again, it begs the question, you should want, it's good television to have people from different points of view having an argument mm -hmm. and a conversation. Because if you can't do it on TV, how do you expect the country to do it? Yeah. And so uh, come on, that. come on, and, and NBC, bring in different points of view and have a debate. Are you a so, Sean? Let me let me clue you in, brother. The differences between Jessica Tarloff is that she's someone who stands for truth and uh, values evidence and reason and democracy, and the other is someone who worked in service to a fascist to try to end democracy in the United States, who tried to convince leaders in her home state of Michigan to certify fake electors to get Donald Trump elected. Do, do, do you see the differences, dipshit? Can you fundamentally recognize the differences between a Jessica Tarloff and a Ronna Romney McDaniel? I hope you can.
Anyway, I'd, I'd love your opinion about this. Uh, what do you think? You can leave a comment below. We can have a conversation in the comments. That would be great. Uh, help YouTube to recommend this content to new subscribers, new possible viewers, and that would be fantastic. You can also get your voice on the record. Call my voicemail line, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. All those are great ways to get in touch with the show. You can follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore. That's a good time. And if you want to help support this work, you can become a channel member here on YouTube by clicking the join button. Go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Those are great ways to help support. Another way to help support is check out this offer from Sheath Underwear, uh, the sponsor of a portion of today's video. I'm wearing them. I wear them. They're great. Endorsed. Boop. Don't even need the ad. I just endorsed it. <laughs> Stick around. Here in the United States, we grant separate powers to three co-equal branches of government, the legislative, the executive, and the judicial. Divided, each branch can better support the working of our government as a whole. Why shouldn't this practice carry over to the, the governing of our own bodies? Rather than allowing your branch and berries to stew in a single stuffy cesspool, well, why not divide so as to diminish your discomfort? Sheath Underwear is here to help you separate your church and your state. Sheaths are the only underwear with the dual pouch system scientifically designed to keep your executive branch separated from your judicial, if you know what I mean. Democratize your drawers. Head to sheathunderwear.com slash dollamore now and score 20% off right away. It was invented by a U.S. Army veteran while serving a tour in Iraq. The idea for Sheath arose from the discomfort that was experienced in these harsh environments. As a former United States Marine stationed in that part of the world, I get the inspiration. I wear Sheath every single day, and they are the only boxers that can agreeably accommodate my tree trunk thighs and keep my branches of government carefully compartmentalized. And I'm not the only fan out there. Sheath are recommended by multiple doctors and urologists and have over 20,000 five-star reviews. The airflow meshes, they're my favorite personally, but Sheath has tons of excellent styles and designs. And once you pick, Sheath will land them on your doorstep nearly instantly, thanks to blindingly fast shipping and amazing customer service. Also, your purchase doesn't just help you out. Sheath supports multiple charities like Socks for Soldiers and Doctors Without Borders. So you're making the world a better place too. Upgrade your undergarments right now. Score 20% off when you head to sheathunderwear.com slash dollamore and divide and conquer your discomfort with Sheath Underwear.